So red tape is one of the biggest challenges as well as access to funding and markets. Yes. Um, what is your department doing to solve these problems and are there other departments within the government that are actually uh, putting obstacles in your way and how do you overcome those obstacles? The very same 30% uh, procurement that we are talking about is about government opening up to small and medium enterprises because as we say the more there's people who are employed through small and medium enterprises the better. Big companies, government itself can't absorb everybody but we are sure that if government could enable small and medium enterprises to supply government with something and pay them on time it means that those businesses will be sustained. Cutting the red tape? Yes, cutting the red tape. We want to have a situation where there's a one-stop shop, where the turnaround time for ensuring that you register, you do your, your, your SARS uh, processing, you do everything, that must be able to be done in one place. That's why we're saying local economic development structures at local level, we need to do co-location, where all those services can be found in one place. We're also saying CEDA and CIFA must also be in one place because what's the point of uh, getting CEDA to assist you in terms of your uh, uh, business plan and then when you try to get CIFA you find that CIFA is very far away from that. So we believe that co-location is going to be able to assist us so that the turnaround time doesn't take too long. Minister, I think a lot of businesses just want to hear you say that, that you're going to cut the red tape, that you're going to get this one-stop shop up and running. When can, can you give timelines on when businesses can expect these kind of measures to, to help them? If it depended on me, it would have happened already in the year that I've been in office. However, you must consider that the SARS, there's a whole lot of, of others. And registration, by the way, is not done by us. It's done by the Department of Trade and Industry. We are in discussion with the with Department of Trade and Industry. That's why we're saying we want to sign transversal agreements which we can hold people accountable with. It's one thing to say it. It's another to do it. But we are committed to making sure that we are the strong voice of small businesses in those structures. There's only so much you can do. What, what is your message to big business in South Africa? Big business, um, we, we said to big business, it's important for them to understand that if we assist uh, 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 small and medium enterprises to grow, there's a market for them too. And we are saying big business must open up in the value chain of whatever they're looking for. They must focus also on giving the opportunities to small businesses because small businesses, according to statistics, small businesses would be able to employ more people and also contribute towards the GDP. We need more money. And you were saying uh, in your speech last night that the, the improvements or the amendments to the, the BE and broad-based um, economic empowerment, that also has a contribution to play there. Absolutely. We, we see that as an opportunity for smaller and medium enterprises. And we'd like to say to, to big business, in for, in for instance, that there's no need for us to be fighting black economic empowerment. Because quite frankly, if we had all, as way back as 1994, we had all met each other halfway, government wouldn't have been forced to, to pass legislation on, on black economic empowerment. And from now on, we would rather de move towards a general picture where you don't have to even be thinking BEE, but you're thinking that everybody who's South African who's got an opportunity. The fact of the matter is that we are addressing imbalances of the past, and it's taking us too long because most are pointing a finger at government, whereas my view is that we could walk, be walking together and talking to each other how to make sure that there's transference of uh, uh, resources to the ordinary people. One final question. Can you give the South African entrepreneurs out there, one message of hope for the next year coming up? It's about themselves getting up and doing things for themselves. We can only just create the conducive environment, but when you are an entrepreneur, it's about you getting up, going out and finding out how can you develop, how can you even start your business, how can you develop your business, so that at the end of the day when you come to us, it's about us supporting you rather than the other way around.